Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Um, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so we have a community. Either this could be a group of friends or something like that. There could be this could be like a marriage as well that's coming to an end. This is gonna come in the reverse, but you know, the story is gonna come out like it's supposed to. Um, there could be a group of friends or a community going through some type of ending. There could have been some type of short-lived victory. It says someone took some type of action to end something for you, like to end your abundance or something like that. Uh, in your fulfillment because the uh, three of cups can have to do with joy, fulfillment in life, celebration, bounty, and things like that. So someone wanted to put an end to it, but there's something where a group of people are trapped in their heads. A group of friends are trapped in their hair heads. Like they are in some type of mental imprisonment. Like someone feels like really either confused, really upset. Um, they just don't like the news that they're getting because what well, you're going to be receiving some type of good news it's like they thought that they have kind of destroyed your chances of receiving some type of good news or new beginning in life um possibly from a wealthy man or something and the fact that you are still going to be receiving this good news has these people living in fear because it's going to close a chapter out and help you move forward in life uh and help you kind of live in your purpose and things like that also there is some type of epiphany going on in this community in this group even if people do not want to see the truth they're seeing the truth now so there is some type of realization going on you may have people in here that are going through some type of awakening and may want to reach out to you and things like that and because they have foresight of what an institution has been doing or a couple has been doing to cause heartbreak to someone that has mastered themselves and things like that you could be a queen of cups okay this could be something where a king of wands was involved in behind the scenes as well and nobody knows that yeah he invested in this and may have to take a different path maybe someone wants to come towards you but you know what it is they did behind the scenes someone does want to come towards you and it doesn't have to be this king of wands it could be someone that wants to come towards you to balance something out um but there is something where it said they're gonna have to tell you the truth and then you have to decide if you want to move forward with them this could be a wealthy man be mindful someone may want to come in and breadcrumb you as well but I think there's a wealthy man that may want to give to you trying to balance something out in your life his life and maybe it's going to lead to an ace of pentacles offered with the truth being exposed to you and then you having some type of brand new passionate beginning in life being able to move on basically but someone is stuck in their mind about you receiving this communication so they may want to take some type of action to hinder a an empress bring harm to you defeat you something like that because someone is extremely jealous of you they do not want you having some type of fresh start in life okay because they know you are someone you could be telling the truth you could be someone that's very straightforward with your words and maybe the way you speak what you are saying bothers people but if it's the truth at the end of the day that's all that matters you are absolutely an ascendant master you are someone very balanced very secure within yourself very assertive and what i'm hearing is that there could be people in this group, maybe the leader of the pack may not be as assertive, may have a problem with people that are self-minded, people that do kind of what I do as well, or spiritual people, things like that, they have a problem with it. Um, and you have foresight of some type of offer that's coming in to you. Uh, so people may be working behind the scenes to block this offer. It could be an offer of fina finance, but just know that this is what protected, okay? And it's going to lead to you coming up with a lot of options for yourself in life when it comes to like your streams of income. This is going to help you uh, move forward and the universe wants you to know that they support you and you need to keep your mind on positive things, positive thoughts as you move forward into your new beginning, your new chapter. So there is absolutely a group of friends, a community, a family, I feel like this is a family that is uh, kind of having a hard time with this communication that's coming towards you because this is something they've been trying to block for a long time. They've been trying to cause stagnations and stalemates for a long time, but it's like someone is still going past all of those stalemates. Someone is not blind anymore and they're still moving forward with whatever decision they've made in order to put an end to this chapter. There could be a couple here that's about to go through some type of ending as well. Something's going to be balanced out. They could end up losing everything. Uh, you yourself 
you may have experienced some type of stalemate for quite a while and it would have been like a karmic cycle where you were like where why is nothing roaring why is nothing moving it's not that nothing was moving spirit was prepping you for some type of new chapter you're about to embark on so that you can be ready you were supposed to be what going within during this time to perfect yourself on a spiritual level physical level mental level emotional as well you are going through some type of ascension having the self actualized you could have been in like your hermit uh, mold um, but you were getting in touch with your inner child and healing those aspects of yourself that needed to be healed so that you can move forward um, there's a wife character in here maybe she knows the truth now or she or the truth has been exposed to her or about her and maybe she is feeling some type of regret about something. Maybe she didn't know something uh, was based on a lie. So maybe someone may want to take some type of action to speak with you, dialing something out. She, maybe she's trying to take a different path now in life. She may be a little bit afraid of all of the actions that she has taken against you because now someone knows that they were coming after someone that didn't have any ill intent for them and never did anything to them. I'm getting like some type of miscommunication is that, yeah, she knows the truth now. She knows. She knows the truth. So she may be walking away from something. This could be like a wife character that may want to come in and give you some type of friendship or something like that. Um, no hard feelings, but I will I will walk away from this. I wouldn't entertain this. Just like let it be. Let it be. Like don't hold grudges in your heart or anything. Just let it be. You're still going to be victorious, but this woman is planning on how to come into your energy to give you some type of friendship. It's not... I'm sorry, it's not really something that's genuine. It's just so that she can maintain some type of situation that she has going on. It's that, you know, someone trying to one-up you. She knows the truth now, so she's come up with some type of plan to appear to be like the more mature one. So this is like a plan that she's coming up with. Like, I'm going to go and apologize to her, and I'm going to make sure everybody know that I apologize to her so that I can seem like the bigger person or something like that. That way she can keep a hold of something or keep something going on, okay? Um, this could be a wife character that's married to someone, um, and she's trying to, I, I don't know, she said she's trying to hold on to some whatever this is. I mean, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot, okay? I cannot. Uh, someone is going to be put out of an institution also is what I'm hearing. I said institution and the higher thing came out. Someone is going to be put out of an institution because there's something where this woman just refuses to learn her lesson. Um, and this is part of the reason why I'm saying that it's like she's trying to one up you. So the apology she's giving you is not even something genuine. It's just so that people can see it and say, oh, look at Mario. She's doing the right thing. She's being so mature. But it's that you as the high priestess, you're going to see what this woman is really trying to do. Okay. There's a whole group behind the scenes fighting about two people coming together. And it's been coming out the same way for the few weeks, past few weeks. A group, like a family, a group of family, friends coming together to collaborate, come up with some type of plan on how to block two people from working, either working together or or coming together in a relationship whatever this is and they are really trapped because what it's more so of a mental imprisonment they're going through an ending because these friends are now kind of turning on each other and walking away because they were doing something based off of a lie um and there are people in here that don't want to take any accountability for what it is they've been doing but it's like you've been living under some type of illusion for a long time and then the illusion is broken and you're like well we were doing this because of what? Because we thought someone did this or someone said they were this way. We believe this, but now that the truth is revealed and this person know that know what we are doing and why we are doing it, what's the point of doing it, right? But there's someone in here that still wants to keep going. It could be the queen of pentacles. It could be a, a queen of swords. Someone still wants to keep going. And I keep saying this. There's something a queen of swords is going to do that is going to help put an end to this chapter and i'm being told to kind of leave that out because it's important for her to take this action so that something can be done with okay um but there's someone um i don't know if they're taking some type of action um to speak to a higher fin energy this could be a religious character um that i don't know like this is like a either an institution or a religious character that may want to bring balance into a situation something has been drawn out for a long time as you can see these people 
where plotting your ending and things like that. There's someone that's bothered by your independence. There's someone that's bothered by your energy. You may not even be aware of these people. Some of you, you may just be out living your life and just, or maybe just trying to move on with your life. But these people have been plotting on how they can temper with your resources or put an end to everything that you have um, so that you can be out here in a deplorable state. They don't want you in this energy. They want you to have to move on for e from everything you've invested in. And the universe is saying, no, that's not happening. They don't want you out here being healed or healing people. They don't want people to see you as wish fulfillment and things like that. They don't want you being what abundant and solid and things like that in life. They want you living in fear, in anxiety crying everything like that but you already know on an intuitive level what these people are doing you may have said something that has caused someone to want to take some type of action to bring balance into a situation but again just be mindful of the energies coming towards you maybe someone wants to come in to commit with you commit with you or to you in work uh, just be mindful however with the commitments and stuff you are receiving like the collaborations as far as who you are working with and things like that okay um so you are going to be moving forward you will be elevated so for example like people that create content if you create content and someone has been or a group got together to hire your platform to make sure you're not seen you will be seen you will be elevated you will be successful there is some type of divine meeting yeah you will be seen that this is not something that can be blocked at all right they may have been able to cause some type of stagnation but it was a necessary period because something needed to be revealed and once the truth is revealed because someone that's a feminine energy or masculine energy that stink that stands to lose everything and this is someone that's possibly been pretending to be someone of high honor but they stand to lose everything and at this point there's nothing they can do to block that so this that period of stagnation you've been experiencing has been some type of preparation for you and someone has been being given time by the universe to fix their their mindset and to take a different path in life but she's stuck on stupid so there is something where it is that she's going to lose everything someone is under some type of illusion or they've learned how to cause some type of illusion this is one of those women that walk around pretending to be independent and self-made but the whole time they have daddy behind the scenes that's giving to them they have a sugar daddy that's giving to them funding their lifestyle but then they'll be out here angry pissed up pretending to be a uh, miss independent or Mr. Independent, um, until what daddy pulls his money away, sugar daddy pulls their money away, sponsors, sponsors pull their money away, and then she really has to be Miss Independent, and she don't know how to do that. So there is something where maybe, oh yeah, and then she don't know how to do that, and she ends up in poverty, and this is something this woman is worried about, so this would be why she's been so stern on blocking other people's pathway, blocking other people's opportunities, and things like that, but she's she is going through some type of disappointment because this chapter is over. Someone is about to be weighed down due to the actions someone else is about to take to bring clarity and truth into a situation because they feel weighed down and burdened by something someone else was doing behind the scenes that they didn't know. But now that the truth is out, um, someone is choosing to bring balance into a situation. Um, this is like someone taking action to say, hey, I know where she's getting all this information from. Oh, I know what he's been doing behind the scenes. And this is who they've been getting this information from. This is whose life they've been destroying and things like that. Yeah, someone is trapped in their mind about an empress energy being seen, uh, su being successful, being elevated, being credited for their work and things like that, being abundant in life. Being seen as someone that is self-master, someone that's healing, someone that can help other people, being abundant. Someone does not want a, an impressed energy getting married. It's that they want to cause you, cause you as much distress as possible so that you can walk away from your Ten of Pentacles. Absolutely. They want you to walk away from your Ten of Pentacles, but it's not going to happen. Okay? It is not happening is what I'm being told. What the heck did I just do with my cars? Did I place them the wrong way? I think I did. What in the world? excuse me folks i'm having a moment here okay there we go 
but yeah it says someone is just trapped in their mind and like they know and you know like this chapter is over but someone is determined to keep something going on someone i keep hearing that someone is going to be let go from an institution like a woman is going to be let go from an institution because there's something that she has done that's just really embarrassing someone may have took some type of impulsive action um to do something to someone and yeah she's going to be put out of an institution absolutely it says someone came after another energy and was out here lying and things like that trying to block someone's forward movement in their abundance they said someone's trying to hold you hostage someone trying to hold on to something that does not belong to them someone trying to father some type of narrative that they are the ones that came up with something or something belongs to them they are the originator of something but it's not theirs this can even be like a relationship someone trying to hold on to a partner that does not want to be with them or does not belong to them or something like that uh, some immature stuff um and it all has to do with the resources someone may have garnered out of this situation that they created right there could have been a masculine that was assisting this person behind the scenes initially and maybe they're pulling back okay they're like hey you're gonna have to move on yeah you're gonna have to move on live in your truth on a different path right because i'm not working with you anymore okay so someone may be trying also i don't know who this is maybe this is someone she worked with or someone that is aware of the situation and has been monitoring this whole thing right um they may want to take action too to come towards you or to just let the authorities know or let someone know that this woman has been out here doing a little bit too much okay too much you will be very uh abundant you will you do have a lot of options coming in and you are being told to be mindful of the options you receive because there could be one where someone is trying to sneak you or attach themselves while to your new beginning okay someone wants to give to you take from you as well but there's something very cunning about this person's energy that you need to be aware of. Whereas you also have like the genuine offer that's coming in where someone does want to balance something out with you. But you're going to have to figure out which one it is you need to hold back from. But you do have a lot of offers coming in and you just need to pay attention so that you don't make the wrong decision. If you pick the right one, you will end up really elevated. But something I've always said on here, if you work... Let's say that in spirituality, rarely ever do you need to sign a contract with anyone. And there's something where it's that someone wants to come in, present you with some type of contract just to sneak you and cause illusions so that they can have a hand in your what is of pentacles. Once they get their hands on there, they can keep you trapped, have control over you, right? May even want to force you into some type of relationship with them so that you can keep investing into whatever this is they're coming towards you with someone i don't know if someone has created some type of fake business or something like that i said business and the ten of pentacles came out there's some type of business someone has created and they may want to come towards you with um, an offer for you to work in this business or manage this business you're being told to move on because it's going to lead to some type of disastrous ending for you. Okay. You will be playing with your future and trapping yourself with this masculine and it's going to lead to nothing but what disappointments and you will be way down, left out in the cold, losing everything with nothing but anxieties, fears, and worries in your life and having to start over to invest in something new. So don't, 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 don't. I think I'm being, I'm being told to tell you on your own, do it on your own. You may be afraid to do that, but move on your own. Do it on your own. Do not partner up with anyone because if you do and partner up with the wrong person, you're going to be out here like this, martyring yourself, destroying your future. So do it on your own, okay? Do it on your own. There's a king of cups going through some type of healing, maybe starting to listen to his intuition. Someone may intuitively know that he's supposed to be having a brand new passion and beginning in life, whether this is with him by himself, with a new group of friends, new soul tribes or whatever. But someone is embarking on some type of healing journey to take charge of his life and things like that. Someone is going from like being burdened and things like that by friends and families to taking charge of his life and kind of moving forward and things like that. Yeah, he's putting an end to this chapter. Okay, so you yourself, Empress Energy, you could be putting an end to a chapter and he's putting an end to a chapter. There's an Empress Energy in here. This could be a wife of his, mother of his. That's been telling a lot of lies, 
causing a lot of deceit and things like that. Maybe trying to block some type of communication between you and someone. Um, and all of this is going to be exposed or it is being exposed as we go through these reads. I think something has been exposed. That he Like she wants to trap him in some type of marriage or some type of community, some type of family. Like someone wants to block his new beginning. She wants him to stay, stay where he is. It's just like, you promise you will never leave me. We said we will always be together. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. This is a toxic marriage. She's trying to hold on to him. Keep him stuck. Keep him trapped. She said, you can't go anywhere. And that's because what? She relies on him for money. This is someone that's in the upright. They've learned to take charge of their life. Okay. She's trying to keep him trapped and hold on to him tight. Yeah. There he goes leaving. <laughs> <laughs> someone's finding the strength to move on with their life basically is what i'm getting so yeah 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 he's moving on uh someone may be like i don't know if he's advocating for you the queen of pentacles or whoever this queen of pentacles is like he knows now who you are on a spiritual level. So this could be someone you're familiar with or someone that's familiar with you and you don't know them. Maybe someone has been watching you, keeping track of you and things like that, listening to the things you say. Uh, I don't know. Keeping. Yeah. Someone knows who you are on a spiritual level. This car fell out. So I'm going to put it out there. And you're someone extremely gifted. Someone very gifted. Because you're showing up as the queen of pentacles and uh, the queen, the, the high priestess. Also, there could be a wife figure in here that's listening to her intuition now and trying to balance things out in her life. Maybe some type of truth was exposed to her. So she's choosing to do the right thing now. Follow her intuition and not be out here acting a fool. There's something like that going on. Okay. You could have people behind the scenes that are advocating for a feminine energy. I don't know what this is. This could be an institution that's also um, balancing something out. It could be a higher fan, like a leader of a community that's choosing to listen to his intuition, her intuition to balance something out. Maybe someone was expecting to receive some type of financial payout or support from this community or this higher fan, and he's not doing it. He's choosing to listen to his intuition or something of that sort. Okay. There could, there could be a friend group that has been out here causing a lot of manipulations and things like that along the way. And all of this is being exposed. All of them are trapped in their minds about an empress energy moving forward, taking charge of their life and getting their just dues. It's just a little bit too much. There was some type of communication about a lie, a toxic group, toxic family, something like that has been going on. Okay. Like a truth was exposed about some type of karmic or toxic activity that has been taking place. Either a karmic couple has been doing something or a karmic group has been doing something behind the scenes and the truth has been exposed. So there's a, either a community or a group of people that are going through some type of stalemate. Like they're not able to move forward. They're having trouble possibly seeing the, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. So help them God or something like that. But they are at some type of stalemate trying to figure out which way to go. Maybe they're even trying to say cease fire. Like there's some, there's some type of battle that's been going on or something of that nature. Okay. So now you may have people that are advocating for you, the collective, the soul tribe member, because people are seeing that you're just out here minding your business. You're not really fooling with people. You're not bothering anyone. You're doing fine in life maybe someone said that you weren't doing okay in life or maybe someone told people that you were doing some type of dark work and the truth is exposed that you are someone in the upright with that higher fin and the high priestess showing up together you are someone that's in the upright and there's also a religious leader behind the scenes that's intuitively gifted or is choosing to listen to his intuition someone could be very family focused and things like that all of these cards have to do with like your intuition, your gifts, your abilities, being in the upright, listening to your intuition, 
uh, fam being like family center and things like that. So there could be a higher fence that's in the upright behind the scenes that's choosing to listen to their intuition, their higher self to in order to bring balance into some type of situation. Okay. Um, also there could be a high priestess, um, that maybe a community was working with or someone was working with in this community that's going through some type of ending. Someone may have also betrayed another high priestess and it's like everything is just coming out. Maybe everything is coming out a little bit too quickly and all at once for these people. So it could be, it can be a little bit overwhelming or maybe it is overwhelming for them. Um, but you know, I, what I just heard is that your abundance is protected. So whatever belongs to you that people have been trying to steal, block or destroy, whatever this is, um, I'm being told to tell you that it is protected. No one can have it. Um, so if you had like a, high, a, a woman of high honor out here trying to have you taken out so that she could secure something for herself, it's not happening. She's not receiving whatever this is. She was trying to force to go her way. Okay. There's a group that's I don't know if these are like friends, family, this could be a family. The three of cups has a lot to do with friendship and family and things like that. Maybe they're taking their power back and trying, choosing to move forward with life and get out of this toxic and karmic cycle that they've been in. There's a, a, a empress energy in here. And I don't know if this is someone's wife or this is someone's mother, but this woman is extremely bothered. In, like she's in some type of entrapment in her mind like someone is confused all over the place someone is angry it's like they thought they knew everything the whole time about a situation they thought they had you down packed they understood everything about you they knew who you were you were no good you were not worthy to be in a community you are not worthy of their either their son their whoever i don't know what this is but there's either a wife character or a mother character that's going through some type of karmic experience and she just does not know how to let go someone has strayed very very far away from their path and it's been a long time as well this woman has been like this and she's been like this because she's been unable to be that way her whole life okay someone all they do is play mental games and this could be someone's wife they play a whole lot of mental game they're stuck in some type of old paradigm from the past that they don't know how to let go of if this is someone into some type of magic with the devil out here and the freaking uh, eight of swords this is someone that's into some really crazy dark form of magic a lot of my mental magic um, a lot of confusion, chaos, spells, and things like that. A lot of different rituals behind the scenes. A lot of lies and just a whole lot of manipulation. This is someone that likes to control everyone and everything around her. And she does not care who you are. You can be a child, a spouse, colleague, friend, whatever. She likes to control everybody. And she does this through manipulation and control. So everyone around this woman is like a she they're a puppet to her she's the puppet master okay um and she could be very upset that you will be receiving some type of communication there's a like there's something where she's like upset or angry pissed off at your confidence or something like that like your confidence bothers someone she does not like it it could be some type of bigotry going on some type of prejudice going on it can be like someone that's fair skin and they're pissed off because someone else is maybe not fair skin it could also be the fact that maybe you're younger than this woman she's pissed off about that she maybe she's pissed off at your confidence the fact that you're intellectual the fact that you're positive someone does not like your positivity they don't like your optimism they don't like any of that stuff they want you to be dark Maybe they've told people that you are a liar and you are this and you are that, that, and it's turning out that you aren't any of those things. And the truth is they're right in her face now and she has to face it, but she doesn't want to. Okay. But there is a community or a group of people going through some type of like, I don't know if like, this is like the universe saying, stop, this is it no more, something like that. Okay. And you have a queen of pentacles. Um, this could be someone's wife. This could be someone's mother. Uh, maybe this is someone you were friends with in the past or something like that. Um, this could just be a woman that's finan financially secure within life. She's worked really hard to get to where she is or something like that. If someone has some type of misconception about a situation that was taking place. Maybe they thought you did something to them, but now they're realizing you did nothing to them. Or they've been on some type of mission impossible 
thinking that they could come in, destroy your life so that you don't receive some type of offer. And it could be that someone was manipulating this person from behind the scenes and they didn't know it. Or someone is just cold hearted. But now they want to come in, take some type of action to make it seem like they're advocating for you. This woman is not advocating for you. There's something with this woman's mental that I just it's it's not sitting well with me okay um but you like there's something where it's like you know what this whole group is doing as an as a high priestess out here like you know what they've committed themselves to you know what kind of contract these people have filled out what whether it be verbal whether it be written but you are aware of the contracts that they fill out in regards to you when it comes to being committed to take you down people uh isolating you rejecting you feeling like if they just disregard you, like you're just going to go away or you're going to feel rejected. But high priestesses, those are the energies that we need to be in anyways for us to receive our downloads and things like that. We don't like too many people around us. We will communicate with you when we need to. So when you don't, if we reach out to you, you don't respond to us. We don't really bother by that. If we um, if there's a gathering going on and you don't invite us, we're not bo bothered by that. Like these are people that walk like a, a path that's meant to be like not lonely, but you're supposed to be alone really most of the time Like you shouldn't, if, if you pick this path, if this is the path that you pick before you incarnated, you should not expect to have a lot of friends. You should not expect to be at a lot, of, a lot of social events or family gatherings and things like that because you have a higher obligation on a cosmic level. So you being part of everything, being accepted and things like that, that is not something you should be expecting on this pathway. The, the high priestess or the shaman uh, pathway, no, 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 no. You're going to be by yourself most of the time because you need to do a lot of introspection so that you can understand and receive the messages from the universe and you can see things from a higher perspective and from different perspectives as well. Even though most of the time in this energy, you already know the truth, but it's also important for you to be open-minded, right? So being part of everything, talking to people all the time, that that is not your status quo when it comes to this the pathway as a shaman, a high priestess, medicine woman, whatever it is you want to call yourself. Okay. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You will be successful in business is what I'm being told to tell you with the clock out here. Um, you may have received maybe some experience, some type of still may like we all do in life. That is part of our journey. All right. Um, going through um, those still miss those blockages, whatever this, stagnant periods those are part of life's journey life experiences and things like that if you're having any type of family disputes and things like that um it'll be resolved um you and someone may have to come together to have some type of closure or whatever this is but as far as within the family whether it's with your parents your sibling whoever it is it will be uh it will dis uh, dissipate um, but you two or you and whoever the other party is, you do need to put in some type of effort to make sure that it is, that is dispersed, but it'll be healed over time. Someone out there, be wary. It could be in this community. Someone may end up passing away. Um, and you collective, you may receive some type of news that someone has passed away. Um, so whatever action someone is taking behind the scenes to come towards you, they're probably not even going to make it towards you. Someone could also be sick within a community and they are about to pass away, but stay calm when you receive this communication. Um, this could be part of the reason why we have the devil with the, with this in, in here with the communication card. And I know that the page of wands can have to do with good news, but a lot of the times it can just have to do with you receiving communication. I mean, it can have to do with you with confidence and things like that. But a lot of the times it's just having to do with like you receiving communication. It can have to do with a child as well. You maintaining some type of positive mindset and things like that. But there is going to be some type of death because someone refused to let go of some type of karmic mindset or toxic way of being. And it's going to lead to some type of ending. Uh, someone too may be sick, like I said, and they're going to pass away from that illness. Okay. Um. We got the moon out here. You may end up in some type of romance. Um, and I don't think this is something that is going to be like long lasting. So be careful of the 
relationships that you get in because you may get in a relationship where someone is coming towards you with some type of ulterior motives. And I did mention that earlier as well, that you may have someone coming towards you, right? Uh, to attach themselves to your abundance. So this is not going to be a genuine romance. This is going to be something where someone is not coming towards you with the full truth. They're not going to be telling you exactly why it is they're coming towards you, but they're going to make it seem like they're genuinely interested in you. Someone may just be lusting after you as well. So keep that in mind. If you're someone that's been celibate, abstinent, whatever for years and stuff like that, be careful. Don't just go laying with anyone. It's really ridiculous. And I'm so sorry to use this word, but it's really stupid for you to be abstinent for so long or celibate for so long and then just go and give your, you know, yourself to someone. And I feel like there's a masculine out here trying to figure out a way on how he can get a woman to get off of her celibacy journey or something like that, uh, which is so eerie. Like someone could be Googling, how do you get a woman to to not be celibate or to lay with you after they've been celibate for so long or something like that. Like someone wants to come in and get you off of that journey. So whatever new relationships you're about to get in, just keep it at like the friendship level, no benefits. As far as sexual or explicit activities, no benefits like that. Like you two can hang out, chat and stuff like that. But I wouldn't get, I wouldn't like lay with anyone because there's some type of ulterior, ulterior motives. Also, be mindful of like the new projects and stuff you are you are embarking on. When the moon comes out and it says new projects, it means that you need to be cautious as well with these new projects. Don't start new projects out of fear or because you think like, oh, you know. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. But also don't be afraid at the same time to start it. It's like, it's like a double edged sword. You don't just want to go hopping into things, but then you don't want to be too afraid to start things in your life. Okay. Um, so take, take your chances, take chances on yourself. You can never go wrong with taking chances on yourself, but just do it cautiously plan and everything. Make sure you understand what it is you're getting into before you take in the initiative um, to start anything. Okay. We have the windmill, which means that there is some type of change that's coming your way. Um, this is going to be good change for a lot of you. You've been investing a lot into your crops <laughs> and you will be reaping, you will be uh, reaping your harvest. So just keep going forward. Something is about to change and take a positive turn for you. This is not the time to give up. A lot of the times, you know, when like the enemy starts amping up their tactics on how to destroy you, uh, distract you, block you. That's when you know there's a blessing right around the corner for you. And the, this is the universe way of letting you know, Hey, you are really close to your destination, to the finish line, and they're just trying to distract you. So keep going. Okay. Um, excuse me. So plan big. I'm being told to tell you to dream big. Do not like minimize your dreams and things like that. Go all out. But of course, put in the effort, be disciplined about it, put in the effort, time, resources, and things like that to manifest your dreams. Anyways, thank you so much for Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.